Hello everyone, this is the Retro Gamer 224 here. Everyone on OBN. Uh, this is going to be another part to Mario's mission. Which, I know, there hasn't been a whole lot of. For reasons. Okay, no, I can't take any hits. Now, I got the normal exit in the last video. And, uh. Figured out what the secret exit was in. Ah, fine, I'll take the hit. I figured it out by myself. No, it's not okay. Any, anyways, you have to. No, you have to be big in order to get it. No, son of a bitch. No, oh, good enough. So it actually is pretty simple if you think about it. All you gotta do is just kinda do process of elimination and you'll be able to figure out what to do. You just gotta take the key into here and uh, run it through here. If you remember, there's a pipe with the turn blocks which you gotta be big in order to break. So that's what this area is for. Okay, I'll wait. <clears throat> now I'll take the key. There we go. And this will take us back to the main area. And the key is right down here. Also, a little thing I noticed when I rewatched the uh, the uh, the title screen of this is that haunted mansion right there is the uh, is the level in the title. If anyone bothered to care. That was really stupid. You know what? We're just gonna redo this. We're gonna re-enter the Red Switch Palace to make a better save. So as you can see, this guy is uh, not done. I'm going to... Okay, can I pan the screen over? There we go. Okay, now we'll pan the screen over a little bit more. Over this way? There we go. We centered it again. Er no. Okay. I did it. Ha. Loser. Loser. Oh, no. 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 Okay, I got it. <clears throat> oh, God. It, why is this guy such an asshole? Like, that is really my question. I don't even know why. But this guy just enjoys being a total dick. I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> Completely disregard that save. Because I just... I literally just saved... I don't know, will that help? I gotta jump like that. Like this. And then, and then, and then, and then. Holy shit. <clears throat> we did it. Son of a bitch, we hit the red switch. I really didn't think it was going to be this tough. The power of the switch you have pushed will turn that into that. But I think you knew that before. I think you know that. Bad grammar for the win. We don't need grammar. That's for the weak. Yeah, I guess I'll continue to save. Uh, let's see. Let's go to Cave Factory. Ooh. Um. Uh, also, I've already played through this video, so sorry if I'm not seeming surprised, because I already know what's in store for me, which is kind of boring, I will, I will agree, it is kind of boring when you're doing an initially blind hack, and then it's just kind of, nope, I already know what's coming for me, so 
I remember this level. This level was a pain in the ass with the bullet bills. Like that. And I still hate it. But I know what to expect, and I know what you have to do, so. I'm a little bit... I'm doing just a little bit better in this episode. And I'm also getting shit lucky with when they shoot off these bullet bills. Oh no! No, you don't really need to be big, so... Now this is the part that I think is really assy that they put in. Then you gotta run back. And it's a race, because if you remember, you have to get back here before those coins turn back into blocks. And I don't... Oh, oh yeah, and then there's this auto-scroll section. Yeah, die, fall off the conveyor belt. To your death. I think it's odd that he's using castle enemies here, but... Whatever, whatever floats his boat, I guess. Now that was kind of bullshit. It fired as soon as I jumped. Okay. He's using all these ones that throw the bones. Oh, I went down. I bailed, man. I think there's just a one up over there, actually. So, fast forward. Not much. And this takes us to the castle, which. Uh, the boss in this is not not nearly as bad. Yeah, I'm not really controlling myself. I'm just kind of automatically walking. Oh yeah, you gotta go over here. Oh yeah, and the thwomps uh, paralyze you in this. So, be careful. Uh, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but uh, um, all these little hacks that I play are free to download. Um, you just have to know how to apply an IPS patch to a ROM, which, granted, that sounds really complicated, it's extremely fucking easy. <laughs> like, easy, easy as shit. I assure you, any, anyone could fucking apply a patch to a ROM. It's pretty simple. All you need is a clean ROM, and it's... You're good to go, man. But if you want to know how to download... The hack to this, just go to a website called smwcentral.net, and then on the side there should be a little bar that says SMW hacks. And actually, you know, what? I think this is a race as well over here. Let me. I was right. I thought it was. Yeah, just go to that. There should be a thing on the side that says uh, SMW. SMW hacks, you know, for Super Mario World. Considering that is the abbreviation for the game. And, uh, from there, that's what their biggest selection is going to be. I think they have a section for Yoshi's Island and for, uh, and for, uh, Super Mario 64 hacks as well. But, <clears throat> That's if you feel like playing those. I've I've played a little bit of Yoshi's Island hacks, but I'm terrible at them as they are usually much, much more difficult. Even though this game is definitely probably more on the difficult end of Mario hacks. Okay, yeah, I actually... I wasn't sure what to do here at first. Okay, did I save as soon as I... Okay. Let's save a little bit earlier. Uh, it's actually really simple what you gotta do, guys. Is, uh, you just throw these rocks and then you jump on them. Oh, wait. Yeah. And then you jump on them, so. Uh, a hell of a lot better than those other bosses we've been dealing with. Okay. Urgh. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab onto this do that. So. Oh. Wait. Make him hit the wall. Just realize, though, just because there's one rock out doesn't mean you can't make a multitude of them appear. So. If you're not careful, if you're not careful, you could make him 
cause like three rocks to appear on screen at once. Which really would not be best for you. And uh, there we go. That's the end of this. Um, on to the line rider. I think this is as far as we got last time. Oh, wow. There we go. New save state. This is what happens when I make really bad saves. Because I just want to show off the fact. These are the red switch house blocks. And he actually added in a, uh, a patch for the game that makes it so that the red switch palace blocks give you fire flowers, which they didn't do in the first game. But, yeah. Okay, jump. Watch out for the saws. And, uh... Yeah. Oh, wait, I can get it. Even though I think I've already missed some of the coins, so... Uh, music is a remix of the athletic theme, and uh, I think most people should know what the background is from. It's it's uh, it's Yoshi's Island. <laughs> Boom! Hit that. If you went up there, you wouldn't get hurt. You'd just kind of get sent back, and you'd have to hit the switch again. Like the majority of these, where it's you have to hit the block, otherwise you die. Which, I am not prepared to do. So just make sure you hit the block each time. Okay. Boom. Sweet. Oh. Another one. It's very rewarding to have all the Switch Palaces then. Die. Just gonna tap through that. Um, slippery rain. Well, I think we have time to at least get one exit of this level, which I haven't played either. This, yep, it's a slippery level. I guess I should have known that from the title. Well, it looks like we can get a lot of stuff from this one thing. Okay. Well, let's see what we can get at the very beginning, because there's an outline for this little springboard back there. Okay. Oh? Is it just is it just the key that's over here? I guess so. Well, in that case, we're going to have to put the key over here. And then we're going to have to come over and get the spring ward, because... Uh, there is a glitch. Uh, you know what? I'm not... I'm going to keep my, uh... My ability to be big, just in case the secret requires being Big Mario. I don't know, these secret exits are just kind of hit or miss so far. But I'm gonna be vigilant. Oh, and look at that! We already have another... Another fire flower. We're getting really... Uh, just to check. Never know with hacks. Well, I had to reload the state anyway, so I just kicked the key down a hole. Oh? What's that down there? Looks highly suspicious. Oh, well. <laughs> we have to go down there. So... So, in that case, I'm going to go and I'm going to put the key right here. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to get the P-switch. Because again, there could be a P-switch race to the keyhole. I don't know. This is going to be the only real, like, blind... Okay. Go. I'm going to run, because I... Oh, excuse me, is... Is that the green switch patterns I see? It kind of looks like it. 
Well, in that case, I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. <laughs> well then. It looks like we can't get the secret exit then. We gotta get the green switch first. Which, I'm almost certain... Like, almost 100... Oh shit, no, I gotta get that power up. Oh no, and then I just squandered it. Die, Chucky. Come on, I gotta have a decent save. That's a decent enough rewind. Nope. Chucky, you're taking a hit. Why? Why did you put the sumo bros in this? I think that's what they're called. Oh god. I'm really afraid that I'm gonna get hit by one of those things. Maybe I won't. Is this the end? Oh, and it's a clear day. Well. Yeah, so uh, next time we'll do Bony Fortress, because until I get the green switch, I can't get the secret exit on that. But, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and until next time, I'll see ya. Bye.